81% of the species on the Earth remain undiscovered. Every month, scientists discover new life forms, and some are stranger than fiction. Let's take a look at the top 15 recently discovered species. Number 15. The Joker Spider Anyone who's watched a Batman movie knows the Joker, and anyone who's watched the 2019 movie Joker knows its lead actor, Joaquin Phoenix. And while these two things may have little to do with spiders, in 2020 a new specimen found in Iran was nonetheless called the Luridia phoenixi, after Mr. Phoenix. That's because it's distinguishable thanks to the bright red spot and white markings on its back, which researchers Alareza Zamani and Yuri Marusik thought resembled the red and white face paint of Joaquin Phoenix in The Joker. Yet while The Joker may be a dangerous villain in the movies, us humans have nothing to fear from The Joker Spider, as it's been found to be completely harmless. Number 14. The Southeast Asian Leaf Monkey While this species may only have been discovered this year, it had in fact been hiding in plain sight. That's because the Southeast Asian Leaf Monkey, or Presbytus percura, which is found throughout the forest of northern Indonesia, had been mistaken to be a raffles banded langur, or Presbytus femoralis, for years. This is primarily because lemurs are notoriously hard to research, as they often disperse when they see humans, thus making them difficult to photograph, capture, and study. However, by using their feces to perform DNA sequencing, scientists were able to distinguish the two as separate species, thus allowing us to identify this amazing monkey. Yet due to the fact that it's critically endangered, we hope that this recognition also comes with some much-needed conservation. Number 13. The Loxocelis Tenochtitlan while there are plenty of poisonous spiders out there, few are as quite as terrifying as the Loxocelis Tenochtitlan. Found in 2019 in Mexico and named after the ancient Aztec city of Tenochtitlan, this spider is seriously scary as it has a poison that's capable of burning human flesh. And while it may not be deadly, its tissue-destroying venom can cause necrosis lesions on skin of up to 40 centimeters, making a bite from one of these creatures extremely painful. To make matters worse, they typically hide in holes between objects, furniture, or in walls, meaning that homes and hotels are a common resting place for this spider. As such, we suggest taking a look at your pillow before you lie your head down on it the next time you go on a Mexican beach vacation. Number 12. The Paramanovius Night King For those of you who are fans of the Game of Thrones series, you're likely familiar with the Night King, who was one of the villains who resided north of the Wall in the show. Yet it turns out that this character's influence has gone beyond our TV screens, as a new species of fly that was discovered in 2019 has been named after him. And while it may seem silly, the Night King is actually a good name for the animal, as it only appears in the winter in small portion of Western Australia, and has a crown of spine-like hairs. As such, we think that Wan Kun Li, who was the PhD student that discovered and named the fly, made a creative yet understandable choice when naming it. Number 11. The Corsican Cat Fox While this animal hasn't officially been recognized by every governing body, in 2019 researchers began to speculate that a new animal known as a Corsican Cat Fox, or Corsican Wildcat, may have been living on the French coast island of Corsica in the Mediterranean. That's because unlike regular domestic cats, this Corsican variety is very large, has developed canine teeth, very wide ears, and short whiskers which were all enough for it to be declared to be a new species of feline by France's National Hunting and Wildlife Agency. Now, in all fairness, there is a good chance that it's just an offshoot of the African wildcat, which may have been introduced to the island in the first millennium. However, until more research is done, we won't know for sure. Number 10. Six Gill Saw Sharks As far as sharks go, few are as quite as strange as the Six Gill Saw Shark. That's because apart from having six as opposed to five gills, they stand out from regular sharks due to their unique appearance. In particular, these sharks, which have long, sharpened snouts, are perfectly suited to catch their prey of fish, crustaceans, and squid, as they do so by using their serrated snouts to kill them, and with quick side-to-side -side slashes, break them up into bite-sized chunks. And while other variations of these sharks have been found before, in 2020, two new varieties were found. As one, the Pleotrema ene was discovered after being caught by a fisherman in Zanzibar, while the snouts of the other species known as Pleotrema kaje were collected in Madagascar, with other specimens of it later being found in museum collections. 
Now, interestingly enough, the reason why it took so long to find these sharks is because they are located in the Western Indian Ocean, which is notorious for being understudied thanks to the fact that it's home to very small unregulated fishing ports that make tracking the new fish species being caught by fishing boats near impossible. However, as scientific interest continues to grow in the region, we're sure we'll soon see biologists making more of an effort to discover the area's amazing wildlife. Number 9. Wakanda Fish While Wakanda may be best known for being the home of the Black Panther, it turns out that there is in fact a fish that's name was inspired by this mythical land. Found in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Tanzania, the fish is a newly discovered type of fairy wrasse, which is a type of fish that's known for its vibrant colors and bold personality. In this regard, the Wakandan fish doesn't disappoint, as its striking blue and purple color sets it apart from most other species. However, what really makes it unique is that it's found in dark, deep areas known as Twilight Zone reefs, which made it difficult for scientists to discover them for years. However, once they were documented in 2019, lead researcher and PhD student Yi Kai Ti knew that his fish was something special, and as such, he noted that, quote, when we thought about the secretive and isolated nature of these unexplored African reefs, we knew we had to name this new species after Wakanda. And while the name may be a little strange, we definitely think that it's pretty cool. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Salazar's Pit Viper While the Wakanda fish may be recognizable due to its relation to the Black Panther, the Salazar's Pit Viper definitely rivals it in terms of celebrity endorsement. That's because this viper, which was discovered in the summer of 2019, was named after Salazar Slytherin, who was the famed potions teacher at Hogwarts in the Harry Potter universe. Now, this viper was found in the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh, which is located in the Himalayas in the northeast of the country. It sports a shockingly bright light green color, with many individuals having yellow, black, orange, red, or gold markings, while males typically have a unique reddish-orange area on their head. Now, DNA sequencing determined that it's genetically similar to the Himalayan white-lipped pit viper. And like this species, the Salazar's pit viper is not only venomous, but also has a heat-sensing pit organ that allows it to pick up on the infrared thermal radiation emitted by their prey in the dark. As a result, we'd suggest giving this snake its personal space if you ever encounter it in the wild. Number 7. The Maduga Leaping Frog while new species are found all the time, frog scientists were likely shocked when they found this new member of the Wakarana genus. That's because this species, which is known as the Wakarana muduga, has been only the fourth wakarana class frog to have ever been found in the last 137 years. Now, as far as we know, the species is endemic to the Western Ghats, which is a mountain range in India that's considered a global biodiversity hotspot. It was first collected by the Institute of Science in 2016 and stands apart due to it being collected north of the Palgat Gap, which is home to the rest of the Walkerana frogs. And while its light brown skin and dark brown streaks may not make it stand out in a crowd, its name certainly does, as it was named after the local Madugar indigenous people as a sign of respect. However, despite being a special species, it may not be around for much longer. That's because deforestation, forest degradation, and climate change are increasing pressures on both the Maduga leaping frog and many other species in the Western Ghats. As a result, one of the lead researchers has noted that, quote, this discovery is a wake-up call for all researchers to explore the high elevation massifs of the Western Ghats. And we agree, after all, if biologists don't act quickly, more species in this area may go extinct before they even have a chance to be discovered. Number 6. The Black Bear's Beaked Whale While whales may be some of the world's largest animals, as it turns out, even these mighty monstrosities can elude discovery from scientists. After all, such was the case of the Black Bear's Beaked Whale, or Berardius minimus, which was officially discovered by scientists in September of 2019. That's because while this species had been observed before, many thought that it just may be the Baird's Beaked Whale. However, after performing an analysis that involved both DNA sequencing and physical comparisons, it was determined that it is in fact an entirely new species. After all, as put by curator emeritus Tadasuke Yamata of the National Museum of Nature and Science, quote, just by looking at them, we could tell that they have a remarkably smaller body size, more spindle-shaped body, a shorter beak, and darker color compared to known Berardia species. And in fact, it was found that the Berardius minimus measures in at an average length of just six and a half meters, as opposed to the Baird's beaked whale's length of 10 meters. 
And while some important facts about the whale are still unknown, after all scientists still haven't documented any female specimens, we're sure that the scientific community will obtain a greater understanding of them in the near future. Number 5. The Siphonophore In April of 2020, a strange species was discovered off the coast of Australia. And although it doesn't yet have a name, it's part of the Siphonophore family and is a string-like creature that's shaped like a spiral UFO. Now, we'll admit that it may not look massive at first glance. However, what it lacks for in mass, it makes up for in length, as it has an outer ring that's estimated to be about 47 meters long, and a full length that's likely closer to 119 meters long. This has officially made it the world's longest animal, as it's more than double the length of the previous record holder, the 55-meter ribbon worm. Yet beyond its length, not too much is known about this siphonophore. What we do know is that scientists have found these creatures are predators that reside in the deepest depths of the ocean, as the first ones ever recorded were found at a depth of about 630 meters. Interestingly enough, they are made up of many small clones working together as one animal, and despite looking most similar to jellyfish, they're actually most closely related to corals and anemones. These clones are rather fascinating because rather than perform independent tasks, they instead, as lead researcher Narita Wilson stated, somehow communicate with each other and decide, well, we're going to take over the role of feeding and another group of clones will take over the role of reproduction. As a result, this siphonophore is definitely one of the most spectacular species on this list. Number 4. The African Golden Wolf While this technically may be old news, we still believe that this species deserves a spot on this list. That's because after being discovered in 2015, the African Golden Wolf became the first new species of canine discovered in 150 years. Now, for over a century, it was thought that the Golden Jackal, which inhabits both Eurasia and Eastern Africa, hailed from the same species. After all, the two look very similar, with the only visible difference being that the Eurasian variety is slightly smaller than the African one, as it has a narrower skull and slightly weaker teeth. However, after researchers examined 38 different genetic markers from 129 canid specimens across various species, they discovered that not only is the Golden Jackal in Eastern Africa genetically separate from the Golden Jackal in Eurasia, but that it's also not a jackal at all. Rather, it's more closely related to the gray wolf and the coyote, and has thus been classified as its own species. Now, the African Golden Wolf is quite interesting in and of itself. That's because despite standing at just 40 centimeters tall and weighing between 7 to 15 kilograms, it's a fierce predator, as it not only feeds on hares, rats, and ground squirrels, but will also kill animals at up to three times its own weight. Interestingly, it's also a mainstay in the art and folklore of the region. That's because not only has it been sketched in the Neolithic rock art of prehistoric humans, but thousands of years ago it was the template of numerous ancient Egyptian deities, and in more recent times, it's been described by various tribes to be a sneaky and untrustworthy animal. But best of all, due to the fact that the African golden wolf lives across a large range and is in no danger of becoming extinct, you can likely see one for yourself next time you're in northern or eastern Africa. Number 3. The Parisis Titi while the African golden wolf may have been the victim of human miscalculations, it turns out that this canine isn't the only animal to have gone undiscovered thanks to faulty findings. That's because in December of 2019, scientists discovered a new species known as the Parisis titi after realizing that they had miscategorized the monkey for decades. That's because the Parisis titi was lumped in with the ashy black titi when it was discovered in 1914. However, after reading the 1914 reports, researcher Adrian Barnett noticed some stark discrepancies. After all, the Parisis titi is clearly distinguished from the dark gray, ashy black titi by its chestnut brown, black, and large white patch on its chest. And as such, Barnett realized that it was likely that they were two separate species. And sure enough, after comparing the DNA from the Parisis monkeys with 10 other species, they concluded that the DNA of the Parisis titi was distinctly different, thus making the Parisis titi the 20th monkey species discovered in Brazil alone since 2000. Now, generally speaking, the Parisis titi is found in the aptly named Parisis Plateau in Redonia, Brazil, where it was able to survive relatively undisturbed for years, thanks to the fact that the plateau's steep sides make the area difficult to access. However, due to increased economic interest in the Parisis Plateau, deforestation has become more and more prevalent, which led Barnett to request that the monkey be classified as critically endangered by the IUCN due to the fact that, quote, the range is small and the population restricted. And while this deforestation certainly played a part in their discovery due to the fact that it made the area more accessible to scientists, we hope that action is taken to preserve these pint-sized primates. Number 2. 
the Atacama snailfish. Generally speaking, snailfish are weird creatures. After all, they have eel-like bodies and are found in the deepest depths of the ocean, with many populating the various underwater trenches scattered across the world. As a result of their habitat, there are many species that have yet to be discovered, but in 2018, researchers checked one off their list when they located the Atacama snailfish. Now, this species was found in the Atacama Trench, which is located off the coast of Chile and Peru, and it stands apart due to it being made almost entirely out of a gel-like substance. As a result, CT scans of the fish show that its insides are rather interesting, as their teeth and tiny bones in their inner ear are in fact the hardest parts of their body. This ultimately means that the water that surrounds them is what supports them, as it is the cold temperatures and high pressure found deep within the trench are what gives the fish its shape. And while this would normally be unproblematic, it has become an issue for scientists trying to study the creature. As according to researcher Dr. Thomas Lindley, when it was brought up from the depths of the ocean, the creature will, quote, fall apart at the molecular level, like a ghost thing that's disappearing in front of your eyes. Yet despite the challenges, Dr. Lindley and his colleagues were reportedly able to trap a purple snailfish in an environmentally controlled container and bring it to a lab without it falling apart. As such, they hope to study the specimen extensively so they can learn more about this incredible species. Number 1. The Heinz Ray While most of the species on this list were found recently, the Heinz Ray stands apart due to it having been lost for over a hundred years. Now, what do we mean by lost? Well, the story goes that a specimen of this ray was first given to Austrian husband and wife team Wilhelm and Marie Hein while they were in the coastal town of Kishin, Yemen, in 1902. Interestingly, they were not there to study biology, but to learn the local Merhi language. However, after being put under house arrest by the local sheik, they were forced to busy themselves with other hobbies. This led the two not to only giving medical treatment to locals, but amassing a collection of over 2,000 botanical and zoological specimens, with this collection including a male and female stingray. Yet due to the fact that the Heinz were only amateur scientists, they ended up donating the two rays to the Natural History Museum in their hometown of Vienna, Austria, once they returned to Europe. It was here that the two specimens sat unnamed and unidentified in a glass jar for over 115 years. Yet after a researcher by the name of Alex Moore became aware of the story in 2020, he flew out to Vienna to examine the two stingrays and found that they were indeed a completely new species. Named the H. Yemenesis, or Heinz Ray, it is a relatively small stingray, and as such, he believes that it is likely only found in the local area around Yemen's coast. However, due to the terrible humanitarian crisis that's unfolding in the country, it's unlikely that the Heinz Ray will be able to be researched any further for the foreseeable future. With this being made worse due to the fact that Moore believes there's a chance that the stingray has become extinct in the 118 years since its discovery. Yet until scientists test out the local waters, it's simply impossible to know for sure. Watch our Animals playlist for more top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.